wide range of emotions after this attack earlier today. Uh, they say that it is really hard to believe what has happened. You know, certainly saddened, um, appalled, shocked that it could even happen. The Hamas attack happened on Simchat Torah. It's supposed to be one of the most joyous holidays on the Jewish calendar and to confront this sort of shocking news, um, it's been, it's just been really difficult. The surprise attack began with thousands of rockets fired on Israel. Waves of Palestinian gunmen poured out of Gaza and into southern Israel. Hundreds are dead. Israel has responded. Israel's prime minister declared his country is at war. It's not going to be pretty. Um, you know, Israel will do what it has to do to defend its borders and to defend its people. Representatives from Oregon and Washington also reacted to the attack. Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley said, my heart is with the Israeli people and all those impacted by these acts of terrorism against innocent civilians. Oregon Senator Ron Wyden, the terrorist attack on Israel is appalling. The United States stands with our ally in the face of today's heinous violence. Washington Senator Maria Cantwell, we must ensure full U.S. support for Israel to defend itself and work to avoid further escalation and a wider war. And finally, Congressman Earl Blumenauer, I am horrified by the terrorist attacks in Israel, our strongest ally in the region. I firmly stand with the thousands of Israelis in harm's way. We can't give up hope, but it, it really makes it hard to envision that there could be peace because Israelis think, well, if this is what happened in Gaza, can you imagine what would happen in the West Bank if Hamas took over the West Bank? The Jewish Federation of Greater Portland has a community gathering that is set for Monday night at 7.30. It's going to be held at Congregation Neve Shalom in southwest Portland. There is also an emergency fund that they have set up that you can donate to to help out. It is at jewishportland.org.